Okay, um, I'm here at the uh, N64 Kids Bureau at the office of uh, Oliver Hilfinghoff and me. And uh, today I'm uh, meeting with some guests that I met yesterday. Um, we met at the TV Tower of Berlin and uh, they are protesters. They come from different districts of Germany and I invited them to come here and to talk to me and to talk to the public about what is uh, going on in their lives, what is their background, what is their wishes and demands and what are they going to do here in Berlin. So um, I welcome uh, Nadil here and um, Fkirte and Yer uh, uh, and also here is uh, Rizwan who will talk to us later and I just um, want you to shortly um, explain who are you, what's your background and uh, how did you get to the idea of uh, going to a protest here in Berlin? Uh, first of all I will say thanks to invite us here and uh, to make a sh uh, this conversation that we want to share what what's going on with our lives and uh, I will say thank you for to to appreciate all whatever ha happens and uh, the second thing what's going on with our lives <coughs> everyone know already this uh, since long time it's in the history of Germany so I will say that uh, uh, we are from different cities from this different districts and uh, some are new some are from s some long time here and uh, just uh, because we are tired to see every time to see the situations of ours in lagers and have no rights uh, for uh, a lot of things and uh, just are r restricted uh, just are binded in some laws and cannot do nothing by our own so, so effectively you're in the, you call it Lager, um, in, in, in close to Nuremberg or Munich or some other city and uh, you, can you have nothing to do, you can't do anything, right? Y yeah, uh, like uh, we have uh, always uh, discussed every year that we have problems of uh, uh, Lager in Lagers, that uh, uh, the Lager situation uh, is that we are living in Lagers like animals, it's not a human situation. Uh, no privacy for personal life, nothing. So uh, each person have four, four persons, seven, seven persons, and uh, the the living. Uh, it's like uh, from different cultures, not from one country. Always, always from different cultures, and uh, from different places. And people are stressed. People are fleeing. So those who came uh, from their countries and get success to be to reach here. Uh, they have a lot of problems here because of stress because they are not with their family with their uh, in their homelands so first of all it's communication problem here and second then uh, no privacy for our life and then don't have contacts with families background whatever happens there so and then these restricted laws which are making us uh, too 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 much complicated is which are making us to to come on the streets to to ask for our rights uh, where is humanity so uh, we just came out because of these uh, situations that uh, each person seven uh, each room seven persons one is from Ethiopia one is from Iran Iraq Pakistan so different religions and somebody want to to uh, watch TV somebody want to talk with someone on phone somebody want to sleep so it's no choice whenever you want to sleep it's no uh, there's no life in the lager so and when you go out you are not allowed to go to different cities or whenever uh, like uh, uh, the transport lagers are always far away from the places so uh, it's uh, mostly difficult to find transport to go to the big towns sometimes for for some things like you last time we visit some place and uh, there was uh, the supermarket seven kilometers from the home and uh, they have no convenience so every time uh, no transport so they have to go every time by walk seven kilometers there mm. to bring if something they want to buy so and they uh, have two times bus in the uh, in the day normal day and on weekend it's no bus if you want to go uh, on banaf or like this so 
every time it's like a complicated situation which are making you crazy that you just think what happens before in your life in your country and then you escape from your country you came here by mm, somehow and when you are here so a lot of things that you have to just think about that and just stress and waiting for years 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 to get some response to get some equal right in in the community mm. can um, <coughs> can do you want to say uh, from which country do you come uh i will not say from which country i am because uh, um i if i will say i am from this country then this is uh, not a uh, justice with the others uh, because uh, the refugees uh, situation in germany everywhere is the same so i will not say i'm from this country i'm from that country so we are from more than 12 countries here who are protesting so i will say just uh, the country never matter when the situation for you everywhere is the same so uh, africans have same problems asian have same problems arabs have same problems and uh, from north america or so from these everywhere from everywhere the people have different problems but here in uh, in germany I've all the refugees have same same situations for so it's not fair to say <coughs> i mean i'm from this country okay uh, do you want to talk about um what um, what brought you to germany why why you you went to germany as a refugee uh as an individual if you ask that uh, i will say that uh, everyone have his personal problems but uh, i will say that there are some major problems that everywhere in the in this world is happening civil wars and political wars religious problems and uh, uh, like uh, these things which are forcing and like uh, no security for and uh, not opportunities for education for have have a secure life so these things and even personal uh, yeah these things are bringing us forcing us to to let our countries and uh, because of uh, problems in the states in the in the countries uh, everywhere these things are economically war, civil war, political wars. These mm. are the main reasons which are just bringing us here. So when we don't feel our life safe, we just let our countries. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And um, Grete, uh, you um, do you want to talk about uh, where, where, what you experienced in the lager that you lived in? Yeah, in the lager, uh, our experience already same. Already Adil he explained. I don't want to repeat him more, nothing different from him, what he say. But uh, I want to say some addition. Mm -hmm. We are coming with our l country is not safe. Not uh, We have a lot of problem, uh, political problems. That's why we are coming here. But uh, we are thinking this is a democratic country. Mm -hmm. But uh, we didn't find what is a democrat, the word, only the word not the way of uh, how they are doing, how they are treat us, not like Democrats. But in the Laga, we have a lot of problem. I don't want to repeat, I told you in the beginning. Uh, especially in Bayer, we have a lot, a lot, a lot of problem. Wherever we are going, we are telling our problem. Nobody hearing to us, nobody giving us uh, reply the answer, even you are long now example uh, so many ladies we are there long time but nobody giving to answer for us more than five years like that but that also is not acceptable in my mind and uh, really in this time we so tired yeah. tired whatever is coming we are decide even we are dying this moment i don't care in myself it's bad day by day we are thinking maybe tomorrow by god's grace the situation it will be changed the situation it will become good day by day we are thinking the day is coming long but the situation same and worse 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 mm. i don't have enough to say worse very bad so now I am asking for government. We want to recognize, like other human being. 
we don't want getting sick and lay down the bed. When you are sick, immediately they will give you the paper. I don't need it that, not getting the paper, even a million euro, I don't need it. If I'm sick, I'm going to already in the bed, my life already finished. I am near for grave, not for life, if I'm sick. You understand me, yeah? yeah? So we don't need it. Before we are coming to crazy, before we are coming to sick, we need recognition. We need human dignity. This is my opinion. Mm -hmm. I don't want to think now about time, really. We are tired. Already he explained to you mm -hmm. well. Our situation, why? We want recognized. We know we are coming to from buyer without any permission paper. Yes, that is not allowed. That, yes, we are breaking the law. Mm. If we are asking the permission paper, we know they are not giving to us every time they are present to us. So we, d we didn't tell them we are coming because our problem is pushing to us to come here. Mm. We know that we did a mistake. But other, we are not taking, we are not doing a mistake. Yes, this is my... <sighs> I don't want. Even how we are going back, we are scared. I know hundred percent they will revenge us. We are thinking that. I know if we are going back again, upside down it will be everything. We know well. We are scared too. They will revenge us. In my opinion, mm -hmm. yeah, I know. So um. <coughs> Yeah, Galim, uh, you 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 wanted uh, to go together to form a protest, and you went uh, in Nuremberg to the Bundesministerium for Migration and Flüchtlinge, the BAMF. And um, what was your plan, and what did you experience there? Uh, good. First, I would like to say uh, thank you for that. Uh, Chance to have to explain our problem for the people of Deutschland. Really, this is a good chance for us. Really, good chance from the beginning. Uh, that means uh, I have no really special idea. Uh, my friend is already they explain more details, but uh, I want to add some uh, pointers. Uh, I would like to start from uh, our district city. Uh, that means the uh, process which has happened in district city. Really, uh, there is no life in our district uh, city, in Lager. First of all, what is life means? Does it mean life, eating, drink, and sleep? That is the question, first of all. Yeah. Everybody must be understand that. Sure. Is there somebody test our life in Lager? When somebody is not testing, he knows nothing about problem. But it's simple to decide something on the life of self somebody. So why don't we think about uh, humanity? Why don't we think like humanity? We are coming here <laughs> to get our stuff of freedom, of justice, and humanity. But there isn't anything here really. Dutch land is democrat land, but what we are looking here is an unexpected thing, really. So how can we challenge or how can we live with this situation? Or most of us we are really uh, until four or five years we are here in Lager. Really, we are losing a lot of things. Mm. A lot of our guys, we are looking at them. They are losing our. They, they are losing their mind. All things, their health. So, what kind of humanity? When we say human, there is humanity here in Deutschland. What kind of humanity? So we have no any life really. We want to explain for the people of Deutschland as well as for the people of the whole world. Please help us. Mm. We have really bad situation in Lager. 
Why only boasting? We have hundreds, thousands of uh, refugees. We are accepting. We have something like that only for politics. It's not enough. But we are in a bad situation in Lager. Who understand our problem? We have no right. Freedom of movement. We have no right for work. We have no right even for Dutch course. You have no right to to um, to learn or to to um, to to get new experiences, to get new to 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 learn a job. Or totally, what? totally. This is denied already. Mm. Why? Why? That's why our life is always stress, stress. And you decided to go to the uh, Bundesministerium. Then. So yeah. We were trying to uh, find solution in our district, but there is no any solution. We are continuing our uh, struggle step by step to the Bondos Amt. But the same situation in Bondos Amt too. We are asking them, the who are responsible person for our life, especially for refugee. But they tell us they have as they have no any responsibility for us. They have nothing to do with this hunger strike or with that action. They are, they are laughing on us. Mm. You see? What can we do? That's why we are coming here, the third step. In Munich, we have did the same like that. Just to ask to find our right. Where is our right? Or who is responsible for us? There isn't any change. We are coming here last find some solution. <coughs> the same like that yesterday it was really a difficult situation with, um, with the police. So what shall we do really? We have really difficult problem. Until when or until what we have to keep this thing. Really we need they give them stop, stop it. When I die, it's nothing like for me. Before I hurt, I hurt something. I have to protect myself. That's why I'm coming here. Everybody comes for himself. Mm. That's why our our problem is collect us here. Nobody collect us because we have the same problem, the same situation. So our problem makes us unity, to be united. Mm. This is the real thing, really. Okay, let's uh, talk a little bit about the situation yesterday at the at the yeah. Bundesamt in Nuremberg. Um, you were told um, um, they are not responsible and uh, that you should go to responsible politicians in Berlin. And you said, okay, that's uh, what we are going to do. Uh, actually, the situation was uh, I would like to tell a little bit some things are missing which are which we did not talk before that there was just uh, one thing lager uh, lager fleece lagers problems but we have residents fleece that not no right to go some other cities without any permission without so it uh, the official uh, statement from government is that uh, like this we can find the person very easy and we can deport him very easy so uh, when the, uh, a lot of our colleagues are from, they are they crossed a lot of uh, European countries. So whenever someone have Dublin law, so there there is a lot of problems. If someone don't want to live in uh, other country, or if someone choose to live here, so why it is not possible that someone listen him why he came here, but without interviews, without listening him why he's here just they got deportations and then they they are deporting there to Hungary where uh, uh, the situation of medicals it's uh, really serious so th and uh, when you go from here they put you in prisons there so and in in those countries like Italia Spain where are economically really bad situations but uh, when they deport there is no there are no jobs and there are no uh, kind of structure for refugees to how they have to survive people mm. are sleeping under the bridges in France also. So 
everywhere these things that the uh, the Dublin is also one biggest uh, problem of all the refugees a lot of guys we uh, hear in the protest they have deportations fear of deportations that they was they crossed some countries and they came from these countries and then uh, like uh, no work permission we don't we are not allowed to work when we can afford ourselves when we can support ourselves when we have already experience for works a lot of works we bring with us we know a lot of professions we know a lot of things we are educated also so if it is uh, possible that you get you get learn we try by on for not only single person for a lot of persons to get some chance to even go for german normal course language course people are not allowed even for german course because we are uh, uh, zoolanders so what's wrong if i am uh, from any country where it's uh, not uh, like uh, where we don't speak english it's english is not our official language okay. but we learn in our country so if we can communicate in different language is it wrong that okay sometimes you can get this also but the official argument is that until we decide your your case if you are going to stay here or not you are not allowed to learn so to do what you cannot communicate with someone here outside you cannot go from one city to other city you cannot work directly you uh, are not allowed to to stay I I like a it's a, it called a lot of uh, a lot of things together which make us like a uh, which brings us here if these things finish we will not come never on the streets why should we come but these are inhuman situations that personally we take pictures we we can provide you everything the situations of loggers are like uh, you cannot even imagine nobody no person can stay in the, can survive in that loggers we was two months more than three months in the tents we was sleeping in the tents m eating fast foods uh, eating uh, the ready-made foods uh, from outside we did not go to back our our homes just we s we sleep in the in the tents but nobody did not came to us why are you here why are you protesting what do you want nobody don't listen we make demonstration at the same day when the before one year there was a Rindermark action that there was uh, 64 people in hunger strike in Rindermark Munich we re make one demonstration we organize for reminding of Rindermark that one year passed but everything is still same for for refugees people are in the same same situations in loggers in everywhere so after that demonstrations uh, nothing changed nothing happens so these things push us okay c go somewhere else the the state cannot help you the when then we go to bundesam the, you are responsible we knock your door where are you just bring us they said this is the place for justice which kind of justice you says they said 100000 cases open we have here mm. so we have to come one by one and these are really special kind of treatments with all s with individual cases what do you think is the result of um, uh, of the the Bundesamt uh, getting to your case? Yeah, the results that uh, we uh, people are here waiting since two two years and no answer. What no do you answer. What do you think will be the result when when you get the answer? And when we get the answer, it's uh, uh, mostly they say no. If you have political prob problem in your country, they say no because uh, uh, you can get with maybe personal problem. Mostly have the personal problems. So no, it should be political or it should be medical reason or it should be like this. But when someone leave his country, nobody don't understand why he leave his country. Nobody leave his country without any reason. If you have good, uh, uh, good life in your place, in your home, in your hometown, so why you will prefer to leave your, your families, to leave your, your, your nations, very you came here very nobody can even understand your language nobody even can communicate different culture everything is different but when someone is here what are you searching he are he is really in problem in their country or not so what is different between us and and you what we are also intelligent we have a lot of experiences we can be built our lives 
we can make everything if we can organize our lives so why these borders are so why you are putting us so if someone don't want if someone's prefer it's not like we are here since one year since two years a lot of a lot of us from us they were in different countries since 10 10 years we meet a lot of people those who are seven seven nine nine years in Greenland, in spain in italia and when they find nothing when they got nothing they came here mm. and in these situations they are here like we, which is not uh, which make directly to to you to think about it okay you don't have any life back in your hometown so here is no possibility you find equal position so to do what you cannot go back because of security of your life to your hometown and you can li you cannot live here because you don't have equal position you have these restricted uh, uh, restricted laws for you so kill yourself so people are committing suicide every day every day every day with because of these problems mm. so this was the problems which push us there to go to nuremberg and the chief said forget it if i will come outside for you e this is even this is not possible that i come from upstairs to downstairs <laughs> so outside from the office to talk to you it's impossible just forget it this i will even not come from upstairs to downstairs to 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 for you just so nobody was going to listen for us so where is the justice they said uh, politicians make law for you we are not responsible for your logger positions for your residence uh, fleet positions for your deportation uh, positions they are making laws in in parliament go to parliament ask to them so a lot of hunger strike when you are sitting in hunger strike you says okay we are not eating we are not drinking these are our demands we want equal position in in the society and when it happens long time long time nobody don't care nobody don't listen so what should we decide so where should we go so nuremberg bundesam denied directly they said no 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 right to stay here not possible private property the the right answer not responsible we are not responsible for you so who is responsible we are here to find the responsible person who is responsible for us for refugees that we are uh, giving up from uh, these lives from our loggers from our these uh, positions so we just giving up for, from their our lives we came here because the one state cannot if one state cannot decide for us for refugees so the 16 states capital berlin if they cannot decide for us so then tell us you have have no right to be alive so kill yourself or die no no more chance to have something and that's why you went to berlin that's why we came here in berlin and there was a hunger strike last time in alexandra platz and nobody did not care them they was going to near to uh, there was in serious problems after nine days they run away from the from the roads they couldn't stop there's a, they could not ke keep it so if somebody cannot bear it if somebody is sick have a lot of problems medical issues in our uh, loggers you cannot get a, a appointment for for your medical uh, like f for treatment if you have any problem you have to wait for a long time our personal experience in our loggers each one got eating uh, scabious so there was no possible to get medicine for for one so everyone got it hmm. and um, you decided to go to Berlin and uh, why did you decide to go to the TV tower uh, because this was the media uh, the biggest uh, point for media also and uh, we wanted to have one negotiation and we wanted to sit somewhere where the the possibility can be like uh, the media should know why we are here wh what happens before in in these three four months what happens before two years so until now why we are protesting mm. so this was just we wanted to to show to our we wanted to polite our voice how much we can t we wanted to scream 
to tell to this G G Germany that this is happening with us. Mm. So this was the reason we decided to go there. And uh, also there is a reason that after uh, this uh, Friday the Bundestag will be uh, uh, sorry the Bundestag will close. The Parliament will be on weekend for six six weeks. So you wanted to talk to someone from the German parliament? Of course, we wanted to, uh, not from the German parliament, we wanted to talk with who, who is responsible for refugees' lives, who is responsible for our laws, who are making these uh, laws which are m making us to commit suicide, which are making us to not have a, a, a wish to have life, yeah. which are bringing us on the road, on the street. And how, uh, how were you treated at the TV tower? Uh, the um, everyone see this we uh, uploaded video also that they kick us he they first of all they said you who are not allowed kicked you? the first of all they just said you are not allowed to sit here you have to leave this place the and then after half the an people hour working at the tv tower yeah and then after half an hour they called police there and when police was there they said okay you are not allowed if if you are leaving or not just one answer you have to leave uh, immediately this place now and from and us what was did you do did you just sat on the floor yeah we protest? just sit uh, very peacefully on the floor and we said okay we want to talk with a responsible person here who is responsible in tv tower and he can make any negotiation with someone who's responsible for refugees lives in germany mm. so they said we it's not possible that we make any kind of meeting with them so we can do just only thing it's uh, just we can call the police here and police will throw you out so then after half an hour they did it and they bring the police there and uh, when the police came here came there and they said okay you have to leave this place immediately otherwise we will throw you out and after some time uh, the time passed passed and there was no like because no one was uh, was agreed to leave that place without any negotiation so we decided to to sit there and then it happens like uh, you want to say something yeah, sure. I wanna give you one correction. yeah sure when the police came you must leave he said the first time we are saying we want to res uh, res uh, responsible people about that he say okay you have to wait he say yes he go one police we are waiting him more than a half an hour <coughs> after uh, after 45 minutes maybe he's coming back he say no responsibility cannot come. You are going out now by force. He say by force. He said, yeah. Yeah. and then he said, okay, these these are the situations. And then they call police uh, uh, to to evict us from there to remove us. And nobody from us was uh, was agree to go from there. And uh, uh, also was uh, just a question. Let the media come up, and we want to talk with media. Nobody from media was allowed to come up and nobody from our supporters those who was just uh, for solidarity was down they was not uh, allowed to come up and they directly lock at the first moment they did they lock the door of toilet they just uh, and after three fo after four hours they start evictions so when we sit there directly the first action what they did from from the tv tower they locked the the, uh, the toilet and then they put some barriers in front there and then they, they closed the place from there. So you were standing in one corner of this um, cafeteria, restaurant yeah. place in the TV tower in, yeah. the, in this uh, uh, round thing and uh, directly at the toilets but you couldn't use the toilets. Yeah, we was in front of toilets and they just came from us and they locked the toilets and then they put some barriers that don't nobody don't look at, at us and then the police was standing there and after after a while, they so they they they, um, um, they made you invisible for the people sitting. Yes, in the they in the make <laughs> us invisible too. That and the people in the, in the restaurant just continued eating. In yes, the restaurant. yes, and then step by step they stopped from down to people that they did not let nobody to come up. We was very peaceful in one corner sitting and just was our demand. Okay, we want to talk with the responsible person. So so they just make us invisible there, and then they call police, and then they stop from down people's nobody can come because th uh, they did not want it that everyone know what's happening there and th then they call police and after did all you want to talk to the responsible person for the tv tower or responsible person for the asylum politics for asylum, asylum politics okay and then it happens like uh, 
after some hours they start eviction they just uh, came and they take us the tr uh, our group decided we will not go and then they said okay if you will not go we will uh, throw you out by force and then they start forcing they start kicking the guys and they punch on the faces and yes and they just kick uh, with and we have uh, videos we already upload and uh, we have proofs that the police do not care about nothing they make invisible to from everyone and they just kick us and they did these kind of treatments and we was just not agree to go and they said okay if you will not go one by one we will take you of course so every time they ask okay if you don't go silently we will take you by force but you have to leave this place nobody is coming to talk with you and nobody is coming to to make uh, something uh, dialogue with you yeah and uh, was some one of you beaten or mistreated from the yeah uh, one of our friend is already here one so of our lady also yeah and uh, our uh, one lady uh, one woman she they punched on her face mm -hmm. and her on her uh, on her leg and also uh, the others uh, one guy he have problem here on his eye mm -hmm. here he have been beaten and one guy he have been t her his shirt was already uh, broken from all sides and all his hand they just try to uh, to make everything so he have been injured a lot maybe a friend wants to come over and just um yeah sure for sure audio by then so we're the tag away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's enough. Come. That's the Enough, enough. It's okay. So, what's your name? Please one. Please one. Do you want to um, just tell us what what happened yesterday to you? Does not want to okay. You don't make you at all. Yeah, sure. Does uh, so should go based to you. Hmm. Oh, when the police start eviction, they was uh, sitting in the front. Hmm. Oh, they they try to take us one by one, and we just make chain with each o each other hands, and we try to to uh, hold each other and then uh, they try to evict us after the at the final they try to beat us they just start beating us and what happened to your arm uh, Mm. Mm. Uh, when the police came, uh, they first they kick on his hand, they directly kick on his hand, and then uh, his friends was holding him, and by uh, forcing from them and from our friends. We was holding each other, and they was just trying to pick us. So in this uh, situation, they they was uh, succeed, and they got me there. And when they take me backside, they just r round my hands, and they hold very tightly my hands. They try to move, and they put back, and then they make my shoulders also rounded like this. And uh, uh, he got a uh, uh, problem in his hand. And uh, did you attack the police before? <coughs> uh, he attack or they attack? If if he attack the police. To see police alone, we are not sure. We was just trying to protect ourselves. We did not beat. We was not beating them. And uh, what is the medical situation of the hand right now? At the key alone. Doctor ne aap kya kya ekhi na hai? Jada under problem hai. Kya hai? Dini tuti hai? Kya tuti nii hai? Lekin under na mass jada phat jana na wo mass phat gaya under. Uh, the doctor told there is no injury with the the bone. Bone is uh, uh, it's okay, but uh, the the injury become inside, and uh, the uh, it happens like uh, uh, he have inside uh, one cut, big cut. So so it's a, a problem. 
in 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 the flesh he has to cut. Yes, he in the flesh he got cut and he, he pushed they pushed uh, the flesh so it's uh, uh, injured from inside. And how long will he have uh, problems with his hand? Kinnar sound pretty problem will be. He can't do it. He can't do it. डॉक्टर ने तीन दिन दवा किया था तीन दिन बाद तीन दिन दवाई खानी है उसको बारे में क्या बोलता है डॉक्टर को ना द डॉक्टर टोल दैट ही ही हैव टू टेक मेडिसिंस थ्री डेज एंड आफ्टर थ्री डेज ही हैव टू गो टू चेक अगेन फॉर व्हाट इज द सिचुएशन सो इट वाज अ पुलिस डॉक्टर दैट टुक केयर ऑफ हिम ए पुलिस वाले डॉक्टर सी जिन्हें तो लग गया या दूसरा डॉक्टर सी नहीं पता एंबुलेंस आई थी वो एंबुलेंस जब पॉप में अस्पताल लग गया नहीं Hospital to get so. He was in the hospital. The ambulance came there, and they take him in the uh, ambulance to hospital. And okay, thank you. Um, so um, maybe we should talk about what uh, what is your next steps? Uh, what are you going to do in Berlin? Are you going home, or are you do you want to talk to the people from the from the parliament? Uh, the for me, I will say. Oh, we have one meeting now. All the refugees we was there, so we are still here, and uh, we have the meeting. And this is for sure. Nobody don't want to go back. And like sister told already before, that uh, we decided to not give up our life in our lagers. So we have to see if we can find freedom here. So we want something. We want to have our freedom. So for freedom, whatever we can find, the solution we will do it. And I are do you have any um, specific plans uh, as of now? Uh, specific plans was uh, never before from individual side or something. Just it could be we are not politicians or something. Just we are uh, uh, normal uh, normal humans like not not a very special kind of treated so. Uh, not educated special kind of these things so just uh, we make a lot of mistakes also just to get freedom so for freedom we will try to make collect to collect from each one advices so what will be in the majority so we will decide that but for sure that uh, we are not professionals and uh, we just want freedom and for freedom we try to organize these all things who makes the decisions uh, in the groups? Is there somebody else outside that tells you what to do? Uh, no, never somebody else tell us what we have to do and never no one is the leader or something like this. We all are leaders, we all are the group, we all are by on with our wishes here. So everyone uh, just put his opinion or her opinion every time and we collect opinions we find negative points, we find positive points and every time we have hours, hours, 10, 10 hours meeting together so we find all the negative points if we do this, what can happen we, if we do this, that, what can happen so which things are in majority those who are the, when the group decide okay this, this thing should be then we make voting and after the voting we decide something Do you get money from outside? Uh, we ask for donations sometimes, but uh, we don't got uh, we get money from uh, uh, special persons like uh, which are uh, treating us, which are just uh, special giving us support. But we all always get donation donations from our supporters. Uh, in the tents also, we make a lot of uh, donation calls. Okay, we need this this money, uh, but mostly we also use our money for food and for ticket stuffs also a, lo a lot of times. And uh, when you make decisions, uh, where do you um, publish them? Do you have a website? Uh, we have uh, uh, web pages and also website. So there we publish. Uh, but uh, first we decide the, the the decisions, and then if somebody, if uh, uh, mostly it happens that we have some supporters who are in our our solidarity, who are with us. Okay, show there is solidarity. We tell them this we are going to do th that and uh, then we organize everything by our own and then at the time they, they also come and we also sit there and like yesterday there we did not tell to no one and we was just their refugees and no one supporter was even there before our action. How many refugees were there? 
uh, we was more than 41 there and uh, the supporters when they got information here that some refugees are sitting there then uh, at the dawn they came uh, one by one to to show their solidarity so first you decided to go to the tv tower then you you went up there then supporters um, were in in informed that you were in the TV tower and then supporters came to the TV tower to support you? Uh, uh, no, first we was in the TV tower and then we published our statement that we are here in the TV tower and then to we sent two press release that this, this, this happens and we sent our statement and uh, after the, uh, the updates on our, f our web page and after the updates from uh, media and after the updates from our contact persons they got information and then they came. Okay, and um, y you're going to stay here in Berlin for uh, for some time. You're going to to do more protests. You want to talk to people that are responsible. Um, how how sh how are they supposed to contact you if you they want to get in contact? With? Should they go to your website? Is this uh, refugeestruggle.org? Uh, we have also the the contact uh, our media persons. We we make some working groups because. Uh, a, a lot of persons from us they cannot communicate uh, in different languages so also they cannot communicate in English or the German language so uh, those who can communicate uh, we just talk from our group side every time just from their voices and uh, so they uh, decided to us we have some contacts also we have uh, web pages also website also so they can contact from our web page. It's a refugee struggle for freedom, mm. and uh, uh, on uh, 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 website is refugeestruggle.org, uh, and also uh, it's a uh, Flüchtling Uber Franken. Uh, yeah. Can yeah. Flüchtling yeah. Uber Franken. Franken. Yeah. Dot de. Uh, dot de. Yes, and uh, it's a uh, no. It's on Facebook page. Okay. It's not a website. Ah it's okay. a Flüchtling it's Uber Franken, and. Uh, we have their contacts also, so uh, can reach. And uh, we were in a uh, lot of uh, protests before, and a lot of liars have been, and a lot of people they know everything. If they want to contact, they can contact us. Yeah. In addition, just to explain, uh, as we were for uh, two months or one month, we was in the street with tent, stool. Mm -hmm. That's why. Uh, why we are coming here? All opportunities we are uh, test, so okay. there is no any solution. Um, is there something that you need uh, here in Berlin? Is there if, if is there something that you that uh, that you want people um, that you that you ask people to do? Um. Yeah, uh, already we are explaining our problems. So, who have uh, responsibility for? Uh, our problem to looking our situation to understand what going on yesterday and the before that they must even the people who also understand us and uh, we uh, will stay in Berlin to open our case here in Berlin we are begging the people and the government that so the Berlin government should take over the cases from the other districts yeah, yeah but Police. it's not only the Berlin city but the, 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 the we are here in the capital so yeah, the, the capi capital should should yeah. decide this Decide. not the city should decide mm -mm. it or whatever but even if anything happens but we want we don't want to go from here we came from really uh, racistic uh, uh, situations so we don't want to go back uh, anymore and we want to stay here we want home here, we want to, 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 to s live here, and we want that someone listens what is going on, happen, what is happening with us. So we want recognition that on, uh, for all these uh, uh, situations, uh, there are, uh, okay, uh, we never say uh, do it on the time, mm -hmm. or nobody can say this. We have everyone know this, that nothing can happen on the time. But we say, okay, give us some hope, mm. give us some something that we say, okay, we can feel comfort our side that something could be changed, something can take us, uh, something can make us to be happy, which can to have a wish of life. So you need some gestures at, at first. Sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you need any, um, you know, like? 
things to for for sleeping or something yeah, some some we already things. spend all our money so for the rest we don't have even enough money now to 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 mm, survive here for long uh, we spend the in the tickets uh, for Nuremberg and we spend the tickets here yeah. so we have these problems also we don't get a lot of money to and we don't uh, and we eat every time also so mm. there is problem for food stuff for these stuff so, so uh, when we are here it, it is uh, c uh, quite uh, difficult to find all these things so this is also one big problem for us so you need uh, money food um, I just we don't need money we need just freedom food. we need just food sure. we yeah. are like this so just yeah okay even the uh, the one sleeping place also a little bit better yeah. from here to take a shower now even if we don't have taken shower okay yeah and the uh, second thing is really the main thing we need uh, solidarity from the people of Deutschland really just our hope is second yes. hope is just the people of Deutschland really mm. our craft is the people of Deutschland mm -hmm. so we are we need help study and we need really more solidarity mm -hmm. and we need to say again thank you yeah was that what they offer to help us yeah Thank you so much. So you are giving to us this opportunity. This one too. Even for one day, very difficult to stay, not for long. Mm. Very, very difficult. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Thank you for being here. Thanks. Thank you. Bye bye. Th thank mm. you for. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Thank you so much for everything to listen to, to bring your yeah. voice to, to the others. I think it's very interesting to to listen to your stories, to listen to your demands. So I think it's uh, you're giving a lot to people. Thank we you. just try our best. What is true, we just we just tell, and everyone is in the same situation. Yeah, we are not uh, making terrorist act, or we are not making bad act. Just we are asking our demand, our rights, we are asking and for showing the people rights. for how we are suffering. Yeah, with decision to get. That's that's yeah. all. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.